I'm sharing this video with you from a place that I would normally not be on camera, which is my very messy office, but I'm doing it because it's the beginning of the year. It's time for resolutions. I know it's cliche, but this is going to be one of my big resolutions is cleaning my office along with several others that I'm going to talk about. Welcome to Working Mom Warrior, where we help you stop the stress, dump the self-judgment, and relate to stories of other moms and feel better about the job you're doing as you hear about the successes and the failures of other moms. I interview moms all over the place, and I also share with you this vlog. I'm Mocha Mom, and I'm telling you about my life in this video today. It is the beginning of the year, and I'm super pumped because I've got uh, some business ideas that I started on right away moving forward with and I just about finished a project I've been trying to finish uh, pretty much uh, most of last year I don't like to admit it it was my taxes should have been done a while ago they're late yes I'm late with a lot of things and it's been making me very nervous and I don't think I I think I kept putting it off because I didn't have the financial year I wanted to but I'm an optimistic person so I'm looking forward to this year I've got lots of great ideas I met with my mentor group today it's a mastermind group I meet with them every two weeks and I have resolutions I know everyone has resolutions you know I've got those ongoing ones like oh you know I need to lose those like 10 pounds that I haven't been able to in the last few years um, I need to like get rid of the clutter and clean up but the real clutter is in my office I've done pretty good with getting rid of much of the clutter in the house but my office is a wreck and I've just sort of shoved everything in here and I'm going to show you what it's really like. I didn't touch anything. I didn't move anything out of the way. This is just how it was today. I'm in this place a lot and I know that it affects my productivity. It affects your productivity if your space is not clean. It doesn't have to be perfectly clean and moms, I know it is so hard to keep up with it. My kids are older. It was super hard for me. It was one of the hardest things I ever dealt with was keeping up with all the clutter when my kids were younger but I know it does make a difference when you take the steps to to get rid of the clutter to organize things to feel like you're in a cleaner space again it doesn't have to be perfect but I'm gonna take you on my journey of cleaning it up in um, and I'm going to share with you some of the other things that I'm planning for this year. So big resolution of mine is to get um, some of my new ventures off the ground. So I have two main things that I'm focusing on. The first one I started focusing on in the spring of last year and that was launching Working Mom Warrior, this YouTube channel and brand. And just in the last month, I've been posting a ton on Facebook, Instagram, I just learned like how to post on Instagram a couple months ago. I know that's kind of embarrassing, but hey, at least I learned it now I know it. And Twitter and Reddit, just learned about that, signed up for that. And Pinterest, just learned more about that. I've been posting on there. And so I'm trying to spread things to other working moms that I think will help them. That's my mission, is that I go out and I meet other moms, I interview them, I find out what hacks are working for them, and I talk to them about their fails, about the things in life that they're not always eager to admit, but, oh, that's one of my annoying alarms that drive my family crazy um, that goes off all day long telling me to do certain things and sometimes I do them and sometimes I just shut it off and don't do them like now. So I interview these moms every chance I get on camera so that I can present to you stories about what they've done, a lot of times the mistakes they've made, and then how they've lived with them, worked with them, fixed them, moved on, dealt with it, learned how to adjust, and made things better in their life. And so watching these stories I hope will inspire you, give you the validation that what you're doing is okay. That we're, none of us are perfect. We all make mistakes. And the reason that you don't normally see a messy desk like this is because with social media, when we're going to shoot a video, we just take everything, shove it all in a corner, show the space looking pretty, and then when the camera's off, it goes back to normal. But I'm trying to 
take that barrier down and be more real and let you see things as they really are. And so if I'm gonna do that with other people, I need to do that with myself. So one of the things that I did last year was hope that all of these interviews that I was doing and the videos that I was creating would generate um, a following that would help me to make money with my channel and that didn't happen. I didn't get much of a following, I didn't make any money, um, it didn't grow like I had hoped. But again, I'm an optimistic person so I came up with a new plan beginning of this year um, I'm going to try to start incorporating these in some other places in the media where I have connections I need to utilize my connections better I've been a journalist for more than 15 years and I've written for some publications that are well known I've written for Fast Company and Working Mother magazine and Chicago Parent and Your Teen for Parents so I've got articles in those and I do stories for Business First AM and so I want to utilize those connections connections more to get my brand out there and my writing out there and my alarm is really being annoying now sorry and I also want to develop something that's been in my brain since 2016 I hate to admit that but the one thing is I never give up so I came up with this idea for an app it would be an app that would help you working moms find super affordable accessible nearby on demand when you need it child care affordable child care one of the big problems I think of our times at least for working moms for any mom okay finding good quality affordable child care so I have this great idea it was something that I thought of a few years back and I didn't develop it because I didn't have the resources definitely not the money and not the time either but now I've decided this is really important this is the right time I'm not gonna sit on this any longer and it really ties into what I'm doing with Working Mom Warrior. So I decided I need to find partners, I need to find mentors, I need to find other people who are as excited about this as I am. So literally the first day of the year I signed up for SCORE which is a great place to find business mentors and Micro Mentor which I had never heard of before but I've connected with somebody there and I have um, all of a sudden got a renewed not just passion and excitement about this but I have other people that are excited about it sharing with me their ideas telling me next steps to take experts people that know more about this industry than I do and are gonna help me pull all the things together that I need all the resources the money the expertise um, and I'm gonna have something for you I'll be sharing with you that process and let you know when it's available for beta testing I'm gonna be looking for people to help test this and so those are the big things that I'm excited about in my new year I'm excited to see my family continue to do well my daughter had a really really tough year I would say as a mom it was probably one of the toughest years of my life when your child faces um, a health issue and you know mental health isn't a lot of times what people think of as a health issue but it is and um, it's been pretty much a year of a lot of ups and downs and she's doing much better and I know that this is a long process and it's not always, you know, forward. Sometimes you take some steps back, but things are going well. And um, my son's been doing good at college and, and even better now in his second year. And he's so much more mature. Moms who have teenagers who can't believe some of the crazy, silly things that they do, they get more mature. There is such a huge difference between 15 and 16, 16 and 17, 17 and 18, 18 and 19. You can like literally see it like with at least I have within a few days weeks of their birthday there that that maturity is starting to set in so you have to just keep reminding them no matter if they're little or they're big what you believe what you know is is the right thing even if it seems like they're not listening even if it seems like they're um, talking back and say they don't care just keep telling them keep reminding them what your values are what's important to you what you know you want them to do to be safe how much you love them unconditionally and um, and keep hanging in there and so I am happy to share with you my resolutions and I want you to share with me your resolutions and I want you to tell me because I don't see people <laughs> in offices this may not look super messy but if you saw the rest of it well I'm gonna show you I'm gonna get video of the rest of it and show you the rest of it so you're gonna see the rest of it 
Is there anyone else out there whose office, I know there must be other other moms, other people out there who have an office as messy as mine, house as messy as mine. And so it's okay to admit it. You don't have to show me pictures, but tell me, you know, if I'm not the only one. And what are your issues that you're trying to deal with in the new year? How can I help you? Let's help each other. That's exactly what I want to create with Working Mom Warrior is a community of moms helping each other, sharing ideas, um, sharing what works and what doesn't work and letting all of us know that we support each other. This is a no judgment zone. There is no right or wrong way to do this, but there are a lot of ways that we try that don't work out for us and then we hit on something that does. So that's what I wanna share. So my way that I'm sharing today in this video is that to move this business idea forward that's been percolating in my mind for a couple years, I needed a mentor. I really didn't know how to get to the next steps. And just within a day of connecting with some mentors, I already feel a renewed sense of excitement about this and definitely a sense that I've got a better idea of where I'm going to go with this and how I'm going to get there and and it's going to be a team of people that help me get there. You, when you work from home you feel so isolated sometimes. That's another resolution I told the mastermind group today that I want to get out more. There's days I'm home all day. Yeah, I put in a lot of hours. I work 12, 13, 14 hours and I know that's good to be grinding and work hard but I got to interact with people not just on the computer. I'm, I'm a people person. I got to get out and I and that's why I do the interviews. I love doing those face to face and I still go out and cover stories because I love that and and that's why I want to attend more meetings do more networking meet more people because there's so much more that you can collect in when you're in a group and your mind is using the collective mind of the group. That's the mastermind concept, according to Napoleon Hill, right? And the concept that I was doing in December when I was, for the first time, posting on like five, six different social media platforms every single day for my brand. That was Gary Vee's concept. He's another um, person that I follow, mentor, not a mentor that's working with me, but a mentor that I listen to in his podcast and read his books. So I've been using resources like that for years books and audiobooks and um, and I've had even coaches for a time but what I really need is, is um, somebody that is going to be invested not just a coach that I'm paying but someone that really someone that's donating their time that they really have to care if somebody who is successful is taking their time out to mentor someone else because they believe in paying it forward you know that's valuable and and the only payment they're gonna get besides my thanks which of course I'm grateful is is the um, satisfaction of knowing that they helped me to achieve something great so I've done things in my life that I'm proud of um, I have run a couple businesses that are not um, making millions of dollars but they're they're doing okay and I've um, you know managed to keep a roof over my family's head and food on the table and keep my marriage going and both of us have had our ups and downs with our careers and our finances but you know at the beginning of the year it's time to be grateful for what you have and recognize what you've done it's okay to kind of take stock of these are the things I've accomplished someone said think about all the things you accomplished in the previous year and then start thinking about, okay, what I'm gonna do in the next year. And, and I did that, I was kind of feeling down on New Year's Eve. Um, we didn't go out, our two teenagers went out and we just didn't even care, we just wanted to stay home and work. My husband and I are both really interested in moving forward with some projects we've been wanting to work on for a while. And now that our kids are older, it's the first time we really um, have the time and focus to devote to them. And so we just stayed home, but you know, after years of either being with the family at home or before we had kids, you know, going out, it's kind of different. It, it's, you know, um, anticlimactic. And, but then I sort of took stock of, of the things that I had done, you know, in, in my life in the past year. And, and I was proud of the things that I did. And I knew, wow, I accomplished, you know, even more than I expected in some areas, not as much in others. And so I'm looking forward to the same thing this year and for things to be even better because now 
I'm reaching out more. I've always sort of uh, tried to operate in my own little world. A lot of moms do that. You know, they put all the burden on themselves and they try to take care of everything. I don't need any help. We all need help. You need help. I need help. We all need help. And I want to help you. So tell me how I can help you. Share in the comments your successes and failures to help other people. And check out my Working Mom Journey. It's my series. This is the playlist. It explains exactly why I became a mom, why I became a working mom, and how it's worked for me over the years, sometimes very well and sometimes terribly, and how I managed to get through it all and get to the place where I am now. And don't forget to spread a little love to another mom who needs it.